Arachnus Kinas, or else we will be overrun by the rest of the hive. Speaking of which, why wasn't I overrun by the rest of the hive? The moment I stepped foot in this fucking place. And this is the Shadow Forge, which we will never come to again. Yeah, yeah, that's me in a nutshell, but who are you? What the fuck do you want? Definition metastasis. The, de the development of secondary malignant growths. I don't know what a malignant means. God damn these words. Malignant. More like malig D's nuts, bitch. <laughs> hey there, guys. Godly Seafood here. Back with another episode. I don't know why captain coleridge is like two feet away from me but old Cobb is like almost touching my mouth it's kind of weird anyway uh <laughs> excuse me so a little bit i don't know like i wouldn't say i'm necessarily sick more like recovering just got a bit of a cough a little bit of a runny nose but feeling a whole lot better than a couple days ago whenever i uh recorded the last episode but yeah we're super close to being done with this fucking world and i have the uh the dialogue off whoops a wizard i came in here to get away from it all who are all of you uh you've got me the wizard an old primordial being and uh, an ex-rat captain a wizard a rat and a hooded stranger walk into the recluse chamber <laughs> sounds like a setup to a bad joke look at look at this person's face he's got the little uh shih tzu like eyebrows and you know, mustache with their tongue sticking out like a dog face. I love these fucking moth people. Anyway, um... Oh, nice. I am not set up. Hold up. That's more like it. Alright. I'm not gonna lie. I was watching YouTube for, like, the better part of ten minutes while I just stacked this guy up, and I'm not even, like, close to dead. He might have gotten me halfway by the end of this round, but... Nah, nothing, nothing that bad is really happening. Just chilling. Chilling in the recluse chamber with two spiders, a rat, and a moth. And my pet, if you want to consider that to be like a being of noteworthiness. My pets are always the fucking best. Look at this guy. Double myth damage. Well, myth damage, universal damage, double resist, will cast cleanse, and 9% accuracy it's just the fucking best <clears throat> working on another support pet now that has bulwark uh unicorn and will cast cleanse charm on it and i just want to get ward wrecker and charm chomper Ouch, the joke's on me. yeah i don't i don't really care to understand that reference but anyway this What? I remove the shadow on your heart. Okay, so he he apparently Captain Coleridge Coleridge is also afflicted by magic that was making him mad. And I free you of your service. Go forth, live your own life, and be gone from here. Free me? Truly? <laughs> Love how he's just like fuck all of you. I'm gone. Hold up, there's no fucking way. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised nobody's like, used that in the chat and got it banned. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah, and then Cole Ridge like, gets the fuck out of here. This is a recluse chamber? I don't know what this thing does. I get I don't think it's a teleporter. I think that was just a magical construct that the spider magi may have used to fuck with Coleridge and Morgant uh Morganth, but I don't know. I I feel like they would have told us like, hey, this is what we're gonna go do in the recluse chamber, but no. Nah, no, nah, it's just like, hey, here's what's happening, understand it or don't. You know, disregarding the fact that he should have severe mental trauma of getting his crew killed as well as himself embroiled in a 
spiral altering scheme all due to his own, you know, greed. And he'll live a normal life. And give me a bit of my power back. Uh, why does that give you a mode of your power back? What exactly is the correlation between you, your power, the rat, and the recluse chamber? You must open the way of Ungul. Go into the tower of the weft. You will encounter trapdoor spiders throughout. Uh-huh. Collect their bristles. With them, we can open the web gate and head up to the palace of fangs. Okay. Might as well. So that dungeon I just did, instead of giving me the ability to just fight four spiders at once it required me to do two mob battles which is kind of weird you scratch the bristles along the web as old cob directs the vibrations cause the web to twitch and withdraw uh, what web is not supposed to be a sentient being oh shit that thing could have snatched me up from fucking with its web that was a risky move, old Cobb. What the fuck are you doing? Trying to get me killed? Crazy old bastard. Bro, this man takes up, like, a sixth of my fucking screen. Like, whenever I'm moving forward, it's, uh, and actually not stuck on a wall. It's, like, a literal sixth of my screen. That's crazy. I don't know. I feel like there should be, like, a better zoom out option rather than this, which you can see almost nothing in your peripherals, or this, where you can see slightly more. And then, you know, maybe a third option where you can do even more and just, like, be able to see your whole squad and, like, a tenth of your screens, you know, overall viewingness. Alright, so we're here. What are we doing here? This is the Palace of Fangs, where they take baby spiders and train them to be deadly gladiators and skinners. Interesting. It also holds the night orb chamber, where we must pause for a respite. Uh-huh. Deal with the Arachna Skinners, or else we will be overrun by the rest of the Hive. Speaking of which, why wasn't I overrun by the rest of the Hive? The moment I stepped foot in this fucking place. The long climb taxed me more than I expected. I will await you here. Okay. You know, we got to beat up some locals while our, our old mentor over there just decides to decides to chill out. Spellbinder, we thought you were trapped in the pit of despair. When we're done with you, you'll wish you were. I don't know that I will. I don't know that you guys will ever succeed at beating me. Yay. After fight dialogue that I was not prepared for. Fucking hate it. Anyway, uh, all right, old man, are you done resting your your little legs? The Skinners seem to have lost some of their vigor. S uh, since when? It has been a considerable time since I have walked amongst them. Uh huh. I can sense a treasure in the next chamber. The Arachna gladiators long sought this secret, and Morgan. Ooh, what what treasure? This is a forge for shadow energy, where it is hammered and folded into a physical edge. Ooh, this quest, yes. Enter the chamber of the shadow smith and deal with the guards. With luck, the smith will be receptive to our cause. Mm. This is a quest that basically allows us to uh. After the NPC is done with the, the main story, we can craft shadow forged weapons. And at the time, they were kind of neat uh, compared to like anything like the Skyiron Hosta or this thing that actually gives damage, crit block, and whatnot. There, are, most of them are relatively useless except for the Life Wand. And you guys will find my, out more about that whenever I craft it later. Okay, cool. Enjoy being broken. Yay, after fight. Uh, fuck, what was the joke? Hold up. It's, uh, I literally just said it like 60 seconds ago. Anyway, it, does, it doesn't matter. Dialogue that I missed. Who are you? I am Azelia the Arms Master. Long have I been forced to craft weapons for the most noble and cruel Arachna. 
Okay. Of late, the Magi have insisted I fold in strange magic from the Shadow Web to create instruments of deadly beauty. Sounds awesome. It is dangerous work, but I do not mind smithing for a cause I believe in. And what cause is that? Or are you receptive to any other cause? Nope, you're just gonna T-pose walk the fuck out of here? Alright. Uh, also, a little Shadow School banner for anybody who wants that. And this is the Shadow Forge, which we will never come to again. And the weapons that get forged here... Ooh, that one is, uh... That one's on the crowns mini. This one is just like a copy and paste smaller version, I guess. What, what is that one called? It's like the Umber Blade or some shit. Uh, where is it at? Oh, Talon of Pestilence. Crowns only, sadly, but it looks fucking wicked as hell. All right, we got Azalea, the Arms Master, and Old Cobb. Again, you're doing the hum thing from, like, last episode. But I don't think he does this throughout Ar the rest of Arc 2 after this world. The Arachna gladiators channel some of the shadow web into the night orb chamber for their martial training and shadow weapons. Okay. We must take this power back from them. Sure, why not? Go into the night orb chamber and claim its name. Sake jewel. Defeat whomever you must. Dude, I'm okay with that. Just breaking into people's houses and stealing their shit. This is the best. No, it cannot be you. How did you make it so far? I sense great magic in you. This is going to be rough. Yeah, rough for you. Also, why am I not facing any, like, actual spider magi rather than just facing moths? Why are the moths down here? The moths had their whole shtick in, like, the chrysalis in the last wood and, you know, the moon flow. Uh, not the moon flow. That's a different video game. Uh, that one area uh, over by the apiary, like, they, 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 they've been in enough of chrysalis. I just want to see the fucking spiders. Nice. Uh, double fainted, double trapped, and what is that? Triple bladed. Not an not a hard fight. I didn't get any like uh efreet, so that was nice. Don't have to worry about lightly going out of my way to cleanse myself. So that's cool. What is it? What was I getting here? I was getting like a shadow jib or something. That was protected by one spider and a moth. You know, a highly valuable and coveted relic. Just slaying out here for anybody to take. I am done. Take the night off. Not so fast, little dude. Oh, what is this? Stories of you. Uh huh. Who, who the fuck are you? Trained by the pompous Diego, student of Merle Ambrose, adept of shadow magic, conqueror of warlords. Ha! Yeah, yeah, that's me in a nutshell, but who are you? What the fuck do you want? Let's put it to the test, shall we? If you win, you get the night orb. If I win, I'll take your head. I already won the night orb. Anyway, uh, who the fuck is this loser? Uh, Lord Umbra, not Umbra, with a U, that's an O. Like his shield, though, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how hard of a fight this is going to be i do not remember well i remember this guy i just don't remember the fight or umbra wizard 101 let us see as soon as the site loads boom all right um oh he has cheats he has dark nova uh which is interesting drops the worm rider uh which is a hat that's neat That's actually not a bad hairpiece. Uh, drops that storm triangle deck. No, it's a fire triangle deck. That's cool. Uh, I don't, I don't know what happened. Doesn't drop anything else from what I see. Yeah. All right. Um, he's mostly balanced, so. 
I think he he doesn't have the ability to like debuff me unless he uses Saber Cat. So I just gotta worry about Black Mantle, which means nothing because my accuracy is more than his head is one percent less than his Black Mantle ever well will ever affect me. Uh, which means I've got an eighty-one percent chance to cast out all of my spells, and then yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing else that I feel like I need. The minions might be an issue, so I might have to, you know, double hit or something. But let's see. Does he pull all of them? He does. All right. What do the what do the gladiators do? They have cards. Uh, nothing that can debuff me. It looks like. Yeah, he gets his shadow gauge first and goes first. That sucks. I might as well continue recording this bit. I don't actually know how hard of a fight this is going to be. And I didn't look at his cheats either. Let me look at those. <clears throat> Man, I'm slacking today. Sometimes this cheat will not do damage. Uh, at the start of every fourth round, he will steal my pips. Maybe. He will not cast his cheat if the wizard has four pips in any combination. Uh, he does not cast a normal version of mana, mana burn as the cheat. Okay, so his cheat is revolves around mana burn? Maybe. If I have enough pips for him to actually cheat cast it. Okay. I don't know, I might throw out an Orthrus if I can pull one. Get rid of the minions and just kind of, you know, just kind of go. Um, well, it's looking like that might not uh, come to fruition. I don't know. This this guy is probably not that hard, except for just having multiple minions that can also damage me. If he had one minion, that wouldn't be an issue. I like his get up though. It's it kind of reminds me of the Alfoy stuff from Imperia Part One, like or maybe it was Imperia Part Two. Kind of looks like almost like Tennyson. I don't know. It's only been 16 minutes. Crazy. That doesn't mean anything. The only thing I gotta worry about is like his saber tooth cat, I think. Save for accuracy debuffs. What I wanna do is hit with an Orthrus like this turn or bug or something. Let's go. What is this? This is round three, so I'm lo I'm gonna lose all my pips, so he might not mana burn me next round. Hey, how about like your your last guy not use any spells? Just pass and waste the opportunity to have cast anything. Or fizzle. Take a fizzle. Nope, alright. Could have avoided that damage if you were just bad at the game. And this should do, like, at least 5k, right? Maybe 4k? 4.8? Ooh, I boost on him. I didn't realize that. Maybe close to 6k. 8k, alright. He's half dead. So if he tries to pop a Shadow Nova or a, uh, like a, yeah, a Dark Nova... He might end up killing himself before I can, if he fucks up terribly. Is this the cheat? No, I think that was just a regular hit. I like his, like, sword and shield deal. That's kind of cool. Although, compared to, like, Craven Lee the Hunter and Ghost Dog and Warlord Baylor, like, this guy's kind of a pushover. Two. In the next two rounds, he'll probably try and steal my pips again. Maybe. Three. Uh, 
I might stack them up, honestly. Okay, so he has three rounds to fuck up by not doing anything, but he he hasn't he he hasn't used any of his pips, so he's probably going to get that shadow meter down. If I'm lucky, I can I can catch an example of a boss lacking by just fucking stomping his ass into the ground. Uh, so that's three. <coughs> Excuse me. There's that. Is, is that going to trigger Dark Nova? I think it will. It did not. Ooh. That's interesting. Like, his shadow meter's still up there. Do I want to... I don't want to tank damage from Shadow Nova. Or Dark Nova. Fuck. I want to see him kill himself next round. That would be hilarious. Okay, never mind. Missed one opportunity. He got it down by 10%. That sucks. Alright, so... If he doesn't do anything, like... Damage-wise this round, or like, uh, blade stacking this round, that won't... That might kill him. Yeah, here's Dark Nova. Or kind of a cool spell, actually. I might die from that. I don't know. Nope. If he had crit, I would have died. But I don't I don't think you can crit those. And yeah, it just takes 3,000 damage. Because he only negated one of the three possible backla uh, backlash negation things. Actually, I wonder if he has an, like an, a modified Dark Nova that like will allow him to take zero backlash. Because King's Isle did that with Craven Lee and Ghost Dog. Dead Pony. Better and faster than I expected. You win this round. Take the Night Orb. I'll prepare for our next encounter. I don't ever want to see you again. Anyway, uh, this robe, it's a pretty interesting one. Uh, these are like level 98 chrysalis robes. So they're continuing on with the theme of having some sort of a tanky robe that is just genuinely worthless. However, uh, what is my myth robe, or my myth resist set looking like? Uh, 30 versus 30 and 8% power pips. So this might actually be a good replacement. Uh, and then there's this one but that one's only like 24 so it's not the best i don't know it, it depends all right granddaddy spider I, I defeated at least two bosses and gained the shadow orb i did not expect morgath to mount such strong resistance it appears she still has many cards to play i don't even think that counts as a, a any bit of resistance that wasn't even worth the effort he's kind of a pushover Like, seriously, the only thing that boss had on me was he gets shadow pips faster and he had access to Dark Nova so he could do a little bit more damage. I'd be at half health if he didn't use that. And I let him use that. You know, this sounds like a real evil thing to have. Are you sure we should be using this? I thought I was the good guy. The Night Orb is a conduit to the Shadow Web. On its own, it could give an individual the gift of shadow magic without study. So is that how Morganth learned how to use shadow magic? But we can instead embed it here to allow others to tap into the river of magic. Like, just magic in general, or shadow magic? Wizard, use the night orb to make the fountain of night flow. Then speak to Azelia, the arms master. Oh, okay. You hold the night orb up towards the fountain. There's a tremendous rush of wind and energy. Doesn't feel like it. You sense, see, taste, hear, smell, and feel power being pulled from the immense shadow web and pooling here. All right. Well done. Any who wish to study the ebb and flow of shadow can study here and can drink deep of its depths. 
bit of an odd thing to say. Also, King Zhao never comes back to this, you know, up till, you know, uh, what was the world? Novus. Like, nobody has come back here to learn shadow magic here. It will take generations for the shadow web to be drained of its reservoir, but the Arachna Magi no longer hold all the cards. Aren't the Arachna Magi like your children? Or something? Fountain of Night lets me craft you a new style of weapon. Before now, only the Shadow Queen's elite had access to my arms. Uh huh. I believe I am the first in a spiral to craft this kind of magic. You need it for your crusade to tear down the Shadow Queen. Interesting. However, in return, you must find any mantis tributes that are in the hive and release them agreed uh that is side quest material and uh canonically i don't have to do those thank you take this weapon now steeped in shadow look in the city of sardonyx if you ever need to find me again nice now she goes to sardonyx she just standing there i thought she would walk away but all right Ooh, mana Let me see this wand that I'm about to get. Many years of study to learn shadow magic, and she quickly surpassed the spider magi who taught her. How do you know any of this, by the way? Still, she was reluctant to share what she had learned until her power bloomed with the infusion of a great rush of death magic. Now that Morganth is saturated with power, she hands it out easily to any who might defeat you. You should be honored. So basically, I'm the reason Morganth is throwing out shadow magic generals left and right for no reason. It is time to turn our attention to the house of the Magi, where the true and powerful Arachna elders dwell. Spiders are tricky by nature. Be on guard. We must engage the Arachna gladiators who defend the noble magi in order to gain entry. Do we? You're a spider. Can't you just climb up the wall and, like, teleport me in or some shit? Also, apparently, I gained this wand, even though it never fucking bothered to show up. But anyway, uh, this is worthless, uh, as you can see. Let's just take a look at the cards. I get two of these spells, and... I want to say there's like a a 70 to 80 percent chance it will may cast a weakness this crafter literally may cast or crafts may cast weapons which is interesting and you know coming back to sardonyx everything is still on fire which is great uh however as you can see come over here azalea the arms master is now standing in sardonyx looking pretty fly with her her sardonyx crafted hood and if we check out here we can craft some weapons like i said you can look over the stats for yourselves these are pretty much useless uh like they just give two spells uh which are traps and then they may cast a damage spell so like if you wanted something i could maybe do 600 damage without crit uh to be almost guaranteed there you go but yeah, for the most part, these suck. However, this, this right here is the best one. All of these other ones only give like crit, uh, and nothing else. This one gives, you know, obviously the power pit, but also, uh, twelve percent outgoing for any school. Anybody can wield this. This is not a storm schools exclusive or like life school exclusive. This is any class of wizard can craft and wield this, and all you need are like three lore masters couple of this stuff which you can buy in the bazaar like this is such a good spell plus uh it basically allows you to do a rebirth for may cast it almost always triggers and then that's just a free you know 300 armor plus you know 400 health incoming plus whatever your incoming or outgoing is and then you know it will automatically you know utilize this spell like this is a recipe worth getting if you plan on being a support player, it is just fucking great. Okay, so 
we're back over here uh i couldn't i i farmed a couple of like different like comet tail spots for a second but i just wasn't getting stuff at the drop rate i wanted so i just kind of looked at this and said hey what if i just get the transmute thing that would have been way faster and surprise surprise uh the furniture vendor actually sold me this so i can actually craft two of those just you know stardust as is since i got just a ton of that shit and boom i bought some treasure cards obviously and now i can make this and it only requires like a regular equipment crafting station even though it was stated that it needed to be like shadow forged or some shit it's weird but anyway go here boom that was the wrong crafting station uh and boom i have wand i have rod of the spring and this is gonna be so fucking great for just my overall uh healing setups because i've already got pixie i've already got some other healing spells i've got stats that or uh what what is it called i've got stuff that will allow me to uh you know do what i need it to and you know support in fights the way that i want to so this is this is great this is a very much needed thing in my arsenal that i probably won't get a better one than this unless i get uh the spiral of the silver order like the jade one that has 24 percent outgoing healing but even then this is or 25 i think it was <laughs> and life wizards actually end up getting the sword of kings which is probably the best sword of kings one because it gives 24 to 25 percent outgoing healing just in general which is just fucking fantastic for supporting hey let's go after fight dialogue see i remembered it this time it will just say me forgetting was an intentional joke or some shit what the fuck how the hell did you people get down here? You know, I don't even want to know. I'm not helping you. Y'all got yourselves into this mess. You can get yourselves out of it. Fucking freaks. Travel bunch of traveling mantis carnies. This is the house of the Magi, where the elder spider folks spin their plots and practice their magic. Okay. So this is like the rich white neighborhood of the city. I got you. Nothing is safe here, and while I would never say all Arachna are wicked, these may be the worst of the lot. Aside from yourself, question mark? You must clean out the cobwebs to press ahead. Alright. Deal with the spider adepts who cling to their dark vision like nymphs clinging to their mother's wings. Hold up. I need, I need to look that up. I've heard the word nymph before, but I don't know what it means. And I want to understand the context of that sentence. A mythological spirit of nature imagined as a beautiful maiden inhabiting rivers, woods, and other locations. But what does that have to do with... What do nymphs have to do with clinging to their mother's wings? I don't understand that part. But whatever. Alright. Uh, completely forgot to unpause for that... Uh, spider fight so let's just continue it was just like a, a meaningless mob fight they are indeed the least now for something greater Ooh, what is greater the reflection chamber lies before you while it may sound serene and contemplative it is anything but okay it is a chamber of deception you will find the mantis tributes that Azealia spoke of. Do your best with them, but ideals are hard to fight. Nice. All right. Um, oh, nice. It's right here. I don't have to walk up the stairs yet. That's so great. Look at me being lazy as shit, not wanting to walk up virtual stairs. Embrace the shadow in the dark heart at the center of your core. You know you are stronger than a bee or a mouse. Uh-huh. You know you are more clever than a thousand legger and more willful than a scorpion. What well, is that motivational speech for me or for you? You need to clutch onto those feelings with your raptorial claws and be ready to fulfill the Shadow Queen's every whim. Oh, he's talking to the Mantis tribute. Ah, 
We seem to have a visitor. Demonstrate what you have learned. Kill the wizard. You should not be here. Die for the Magus. Okay. Well, that was weird. That's definitely like a, a multi-level marketing cult right there. You know, get your friends to join and they'll get their friends to join. And then, you know, they'll all become tributes for the Shadow Queen. That's fucking crazy. All right. I... It's not a not a hard fight. Just bladed up, trapped up. Didn't pull my hits for a while, so just kind of been kind of wasting a couple rounds on that. But I think I'm super close to the tree root fight, and then as soon as I do that, it's on to the galleries and Morgant. So I think there's one more of the Spider Queen's uh lieutenants or warlords, whatever she calls them. It's like High Lord Magus. I have to fight him. Which, I think he drops a hairpiece, and I don't know that he drops anything in particular. We are beaten, but the Shadow Queen shall never die. Uh-huh. Strike one of us down, and two more shall rise to take our place. No, wait, that's someone else. <laughs> it's a Hydra. I like that reference. It's very funny. You get to live. All right, um... I wonder if those guys just kind of like walk out of here, see old Cobb, and just kind of put their hands slightly in front of their face and just kind of like walk past really fast. It's just kind of like a don't don't ask questions. I don't see you. You don't see me. Just go about their day type shtick. Many only wish to hear what they already believe. Still, there is hope hmm. for some. Hope for oh, hope for some, not hope for some. I thought he was going to continue that sentence the way that that was said. You will see more of this unwavering belief in the metastasis chamber. Enter it, but be prepared for what you may find. Oh, that was the wrong application. Whoops. Hold up. Uh, definition. Metastasis. The, de the development of secondary... Malignant growth. I don't know what a malignant means. God damn these words. Promise I'm not an idiot. I just don't know a lot of words. Malignant. More like malig these nuts, bitch. <laughs> As you enter the metastasis arch, know that you shed your old mantis name in order to gain a new powerful name. Holy shit. The I never listen to this stuff. I... This is so culty. One that befits the shadow weaver you are becoming. Also, apparently, like mantises transform into shadow weavers. Huh? You shouldn't be here. This is a delicate operation. Is it? I feel like this is the like maybe. It's my turn in the spotlight. If I slay you, perhaps I will be transformed into a Shadow Weaver Lord. And if you don't? Like, how much commission does your other guy get? This will be a good test of my newly acquired powers. Interesting. Okay. So, I think there's like an 81% chance that I don't fizzle. Awesome. Nice. I that would be that would have been really embarrassing if I fizzled right there. I haven't been able to like unlock my jewels on all of my other gear yet. I need to get more. Well, whenever I start fighting Morganth, I'll I'll have somebody who's worth farming for like gear and uh artisan socket wrenches because pe people still probably farm her. Probably not as much as the OG days, the but Shadow Queen takes enough. Light bringer. Now we'll never know who is best and who is who. Stars upon Thars. Stars upon Thars? What? Spellbinder, is there a way to undo this terrible transformation? Uh, probably. I, I guess we're doing charity now. What the fuck? Aw, oh, man. I gotta walk all the way down here. This is so cringe. Also, I love that spider magi statue. That's cool. I like the stone texture on it. I we should press on. You wish to try to restore these poor lost souls. What? No, no, I don't. I, I told him it was a maybe. I didn't say I wanted to do this shit. Perhaps, but you will need a potent 
venom that can strip them back to the core. That sounds painful as shit, dude. Return to the Palace of Fangs and seek out the Chamber of Tamulus. He is perhaps the greatest scorpion warrior. Okay. Defeat him and take the venom from his stinger. Bring it back here. If I if I assault somebody and then like Oh, what's the word? If I defeat somebody and non-consensually take their venom, what is that considered? Wizard, this would be a terrible time to die. Yeah, I know, right? We're in the home stretch and we're doing like side quest shit in the main storyline. What the fuck, King's Isle? Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, it's the other place. That's right. Ooh, ooh, this person. I did side quests a long time ago. And apparently this person uh, is, is part of a two-part side quest. I think it's this person. Or it's another mantis in here. Anyway, there's a two-part side quest <clears throat> that you do not need to complete part one in order to start part uh, and complete part two of the side quest. Which really confused me when I accidentally took up the side quest in the hive as part two and then found the original part one of the side quest. It was really strange why King's Isle did that. Just just wanted to put that out there. You should not have returned here, wizard. I am Tamulus, the greatest of scorpion champions. I wonder if that's the same voice actor for Von Shane. My venom will blister your skin and blind your eyes. Prepare for your death. Also, what's up with your, like, Bakugan-shaped head? What the fuck is going on? Kind of weird. Oh, apparently this guy cheats. But it's only, like, a weak cheat? Kind of weird. But yeah, aside from that like small insignificant cheat that I saw out of the corner of my eye uh, while I was watching YouTube, not a, not a hard fight. Uh, double bladed, I think I double fainted and then put on a myth trap, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, super easy fight. I honestly, what, what were we fighting this guy for again? Something about getting his venom, I think. I don't know. Ah, you're dead. Ach, mein Stinger. So does that mean I like just took my hand and reached up there and pulled out the your poison or like what what the fuck just happened there? I think I need to leave the hive as soon as possible. Anyway, I got the stuff. Very well done. I am most pleased. That you did not die. Aw, thank you, Grandfather Spider. That's so nice of you. Use the stinger venom to unravel the metastasis arch. This will involve pain and effort. Important work always does. That's fair. For once, though, the pain will not be yours to endure directly. Canonically, one of the first times I get to physically hurt somebody who's a good person. Maybe. Alright, so what the fuck is going on here? He's hooked up to a machine. Is it too late to change my mind? I'm really not so sure about Don't this. care. Oh, cool. The pain will pass. But the mental trauma will always remain. Spellbinder, you should not have risked yourself for me and mine. But I cannot thank you enough. It's not what you were saying like two fights ago. You are ready to fucking send me to the Shadow Queen to get a promotion. Alright, Grandfather Spider, what's next? She is correct, but such is life. You have done much to unravel the webs of the Spider Magi. You have hurt them in their inner sanctum. Yes. By breaking their control of the Shadow Web, and proving their transformations can be undone, you have made them fear. And fear is a powerful weapon. Worse for them, Morganth is in her own looking glass world. She cares not for the brief little dramas of the Hive or Sardonyx. 
oh cool that's why she's just like completely she gone like afk has not been trying to stop me at all aside from sending petty warlords that continue to be slain left and right the magi are inclined <laughs> to panic if you break their spirit they will open the way of night leading you to the shadow palace uh, this has got to be archmaster Ar archmagus lorkin or something Enter the chamber of the Orb Weavers and do what Archmagus Lore can. That's it. The Magi. I will do what I can to aid you. Nice. It means I get like an extra pit. I love Grandfather Spider. He's the best. Seriously, Grandmother Raven nor Bartleby do anything this cool. Well, Bartleby gives you a, a card like for like Scion. But I mean, I don't know that Grandmother Raven does anything for us. Does she? So now I see with mine own eyes the last final hope of the fifth column. You, this, are what the burrowers have rallied around. Why did you say mine own eyes? Isn't it my own eyes? You tiny, weak, pitiful wretch. You are what has been a burr to the great and terrible Shadow Queen. I mean... On the one hand, I understand where you're coming from, but on the other hand, fuck you, I'm the main character. We have groomed her to be the deadliest Whoa, wizard in the what? spiral. Every card she casts can shatter mountains and burn seas. You mean to tell me you were grooming her as a child? Dude, you shouldn't say that out loud. Even should you somehow defeat us, you must face the Dark Woman in her place of absolute power. The Shadow Palace. Okay. So it shall be. What? The children of light and shadow, the children of prophecy, shall duel and decide the fate of the spiral. That's nice. Where the fuck are you, though? Who is this that accompanies you? No. It cannot be. Destroy the wizard! Destroy them both for the honor of the Shadow Queen! I mean, this guy obviously knows who Grandfather Spider is. I don't know why he's acting like he can beat us. What do I have for cantrips? I'm going to do a flip. Oh. I can't move while doing a flip or anything, but I can, I can do that. Also, that was like two or three backflips right there. Alright, so this guy, I'm pretty sure he cheats. Yeah, he's got shadow stuff. Apparently gets like 50% of his shadow gauge cut in half while I'm at fucking 9%. You bitch. Uh, Alright, I don't actually know what his cheats are. Hold up. Uh, I'm just going to trap for now and see if I can pull this up. He has a couple cheats. Uh, he uses Shadow Sentinel, so he's going to take massive damage. Uh, ooh, he drops uh, two triangle decks, one for uh, ice and one for death. That's cool. I'm assuming that's still it. What are his cheats? He summons people, cannot dispel... Uh, once he receives a shadow pip, he will begin to cast Shadow Sentinel every three rounds. Okay. Round after being summoned. Oh, hold up. Forgot about the fact that I was in the middle of a battle. Um. Boom, we'll just do that. Ooh, he's got Legion Shield? That's disgusting. Anyway, uh. Three, three rounds after being summoned. And shadow spells in it. I guess we'll cast zero pit version of sacrifice. Okay, so he sacrifices his minions. Okay, so he's almost as useless as Santa Muerta, but like slightly more powerful, I think. So my best bet to kill him is to like throw out an Orthrus, but also I just I just want to show you his deck again. He uses Shadow Sentinel that is really big on shielding. He only has the ability to use two shields. 
outside of that, he has one attack, a global, and then two traps and two two types of blades that count negatively against uh, Shadow Sentinel. He might kill himself. There's a real possibility of him just getting yeeted by his own stupidity. Can't fucking wait to see that. I'm gonna keep that that cleanse or that uh shatter though. He doesn't use debuffs uh at all. <coughs> Dude, please blade yourself and gain 10% backlash. Okay, minus 20% incoming. Well, I mean, it doesn't decrease the backlash, so that's okay. Is he stunnable? He is not stunnable. Okay. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. I don't have stuns. Wait. He uses a version of Shadow Sentinel that only begins with 15% backlash? That's such bullshit. Like, mine starts off with 40%. At least cut it in half, King's Isle. Dude, if this guy hits me, or blades, or traps, maybe traps, it, it might, like, fuck him. Okay, traps do not do anything. So, he would have to hit me or blade me, maybe? Oh, nice. Um, I'm not pulling, like, any of my blades that I want. I'm just going to do this and see what he does next round because he's either about to get clapped or he's only going to take like 15% of his health, which would just suck. Please be blades. Okay, does that trigger it? No? Really? Oh, all right. Well, he didn't, I guess only damage spells trigger Shadow Sentinel's dislike. That's interesting. I could have swore that Blades made Shadow Sentinel not good. Or like, you know, increase the backlash level. Well, shit, there goes all that health he just lost. Huh. That's interesting. So if I had hit... He wouldn't have gained any health back, but I just kind of wanted to see what would happen. I didn't want to kill him yet. Interesting. And he summons more. No? Shit, I might be able to kill him here. Got two traps. I got a couple blades. Um. Fuck it, why not? If I kill him, he might not... Uh, well... I might come close to killing him, and then I can just throw out an Orthrus if I don't. If I do kill him, then I can just move on from this place. Which will be great. Oh, and I pierce? That's perfect. But I have like 9% pierce right now. If I had jewels, I'd have like 20-something. Nice. Be. We must open the way of night. All right. The Shadow Queen awaits you in her full glory. Once you fall, we will wipe your name from the spiral. Oh, sorry, I got a text. What, what were you saying? Oh, you said that if you beat me, you'll erase my name from the spiral. Yeah, fuck you. That's not going to happen. Well fought. With the spider magi elders broken, the Umbra Legion will soon shatter. Chrysalis will be free. Yeah, you tell him, Grandfather Spider. Save for the Shadow Queen, of course. Mm. Hurry now, through the way of night. Hold up, let me send this text real quick, though. All right. Uh. Oh, cool. We're already at like the trees. Let's fucking go. I think. Uh. <laughs> Where am I? 
Moros. Okay. All right, Grandfather Spider, lay down that lore. And here we stand on the edge of shadow. Yes. The spider magi built this palace for their chosen queen long ago. But Morgana has refined and reshaped it in her image. Okay. So she just did a little bit of interior decorating when she came to power. That's, oh, you know, that's pretty reasonable. The enormous weight of energy Morgana released in Azteca threatened to crush her. So she built an arcane brace to support it. Yes. It takes the form of a great tree. Her Bartleby, of course. Moros watches and waits for her to master the song of creation. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the whole reason that tree exists. Face Moros the Doom Tree and force him to bridge the way to the Shadow Palace, or else we cannot continue on. I understand now. Man, how did I forget that in my Morganth video? I am bare, hateful Moros the Doom Tree. I am the force that drives you towards your ultimate fate. All right. When the Shadow Queen's song <laughs> is complete, I will stand at the center of all things and hold up the Shadow Web. Isn't there enough, like, room in the spiral for you guys to, like, do your own thing away from everyone else? Allow you to reach the Shadow Palace? That will not happen. Step into the Celestial Archway and duel me if you dare, foolish wizard. Okay. Um, also, why is there... Why are there two portals? Like, I can only enter one of these. Uh, are people farming this right now? No, no, they are not. Alright, I think next... Uh, next next episode, we're going to get to this. Unless somebody joins, like, right now. Uh, I'm probably going to end the video here. Finally glad to be this far up to the Shadow Palace. And for some reason, there's an invisible wall. Probably because they made the bridge, like, not a physical object. Anyway, it's been fun. We're about to finish up with Chrysalis. There's a mantis statue being eaten by the tree. And not one right here. Oh, wait, no, no. This, this one was supposed to be a deer mouse that was overtaken by the tree. Anyway, uh, yeah. Chrysalis is almost over, and I finally understand why that tree exists. Good to know. No, I keep pistoling.